morning today i would like to talk on silkworm seed technology silkworm seed technology means silkworm egg preparation technology okay let us discuss in detail see this sericulture industry constituting three aspects first one is mulberry production second one is silkworm weaving and cocoon production third one is post cocoon technology that is nothing but the silk reeling processing and textile manufacture see this is the components of sericulture industry quality seed that is nothing but the quality egg is the backbone of sericulture industry what is the meaning of quality seed quality seed should be must be free from diseases diseases means specifically febrine disease because this febrine disease transmits from generation to generation number 2 quality seed means it has maximum number of viable eggs viable means with live embryo number 3 quality seed means it should give good uniform hatching good means maximum uniform within a limited time so it should give good uniform hatching number 4 it should be prepared from healthy means this is free and robust strong viable parents the last and most important one quality seed should assure a stable and successful cocoon crop now let us discuss the grainage activity what is grainage one mark question grainages are the establishments grainages are the centers where disease free and quality seeds are produced on scientific lines or in other words grainage is a center where the silkworm seeds are produced on scientific lines see this is the grainage building plan of course this can be modified according to our needs in this model building plan we can observe rooms for accommodating different breeds of cocoons or pupae number 2 rooms for coupling coupling is nothing but the pairing of male and female moth and ov position ov position is nothing but the egg lay number 3 incubation incubation is nothing but the preparation of eggs for hatching number 4 laboratory for febrine test for acid treatment and so on number 5 egg processing room cold storage facility dormitory a rest place for workers and the last one is office the grainage building plan must have the following facilities otherwise it is not possible to produce good quality and quantity seeds now the grainage equipment first one cocoon preservation rack of course it is also called as rearing stand cocoon preservation racks are made up of wood steel or bamboo and they are portable normally portable but you can uh, uh, permanently fix this uh, cocoon preservation rack the trays are arranged on the shelves each stand can accommodate 10 to 12 trays depending upon the height of the room you can accommodate 10 or 12 trays these are used for keeping the trays containing cocoons and pupae of different races and sexes the standard length width of the stand are given the feature however it can be altered depending upon the requirement of the grainage or in other words it can be altered depending upon the length of the grainage build cocoon preservation tray of course and actually there are three types of cocoon preservation trays are used number one bamboo tray of course they are lightweight easy handle comparatively cheap number two wooden of course it's a little bit costly than the bamboo trays but heavy they are heavy now the pvc trays pvc or plastic trays are very popular because they are easy for handling lightweight and they give more life when compared to the bamboo and wood antwells these are made up of either cement or stone blocks or pvc material and the dimensions are given 
with a picture for manufacturing cement or stone blocks. The legs of the cocoon preservation stands rest on the center of the block and water is poured into the groove to stop the ants and other wingless or crawling insects. Each stand leg must rest in a well. These are the drainage trays. This is the one with the plywood bottom generally used for the OV position, pairing, etc. And this is the wire mesh tray normally used to collect the moths as it allows draining of the last excreta or urine passed by the moths before and after ablation. Table and stool, of course, for office use. In addition to office use, laboratory use for microscopic examination of moths during febrile inspection and also for egg processing. Shell use, this is one of the important equipment used in the grenades. It is used during pairing of male and female moths and OV position pairing as well as egg laying. As it protects the moth from other unpaired or stray male moths. Also, it avoids mother moth moving from one place to another place and ensures uniform egg laying in one particular area. It is made up of PVC and black or blue in color. Moth crushing set or moth exam, or the, the, these are used for moth, uh, mother moth examination. One is uh, uh, meant for, see, this is the one which is meant for the individual mother moth examination. Normally, this mortal bezel is used for the mass or sample mother moth examination. Generally, silkworm seeds are available in two forms, are prepared in two forms, that is layings and loose eggs. For the preparation of layings, female moths are allowed to on the brown paper for laying the eggs. But in case of loose egg preparation, the eggs are laid on starch coated brown paper. Later, washed, weighed and filled in the box made up of wooden frame with muslin cloth. This is the loose egg box. Of course, this is microscope. Light microscope or compound microscope generally used for fibrin test with 40 to 45 X objective lens and 10 to 15 X eyepiece. So normally, 16, uh, 600 X magnification is ideal for fibrin detection or identification. Here you can observe the hydro hygrometer to record the atmospheric humidity and this hygrometer specifically kept in the cocoon preservation rack cocoon preservation tray and this is a wall mounting type here you can observe you can record both the dry as well as wet temperature in consultation with a table you can also calculate the relative humidity of that room cocoon cutting machine after defrosting the bivoltine or hard cocoons are subjected to cutting for collection of pupae and sex separation Otherwise, the bivoltine moth emergence percentage will be reduced due to the hard shell. Comparatively, between multivoltine and bivoltine cocoon shell, bivoltine cocoon shell is hard. Sometimes, moth emergence is also reduced due to this character. So, cocoon cutting machine facilitates more number of moth emergence. Defrosting machine. It is also used to defrost the seed cocoons in the drainage before cocoon cutting. Cocoon cutting machine again. After this model defrosting machine only defrost muddy, then it is used. Acid treatment bath or acid treatment set. Here you can observe acid treatment bath. Of course, this works as an water bath. This is the loose egg container. And this is acid tub. In this instrument, hydrochloric acid is indirectly heated in this acid treatment bath. Thermometer to check the to set the temperature. 
the required temperature is 46.1 degree centigrade and this last one is hydrometer this hydrometer is generally used to check specific gravity of the acid or any other salt solution but here in acid treatment work this hydrometer is used to check the specific gravity of acid the required specific gravity of the acid is 1.075 required specific gravity of the acid is 1.075 this is basin stand these are made up of matter metal and intended to hold a basin containing formalin or any other disinfectant this is used for disinfection of hands while entering the drainage refrigerator is used to preserve small amount of cocoons for the purpose of synchronization of mass emergence synchronization of mass emergence in addition it is also used to preserve female or male mass before copulation for the purpose of synchronization in addition male mass after first mating and before second mating may be preserved at least for 20 minutes foot cleaning tray this is made up of metal containing gunny cloth moistened with disinfectant for disinfection of feet while entering the drainage in addition to number of uh, small items are required for example craft paper even humidifier room heater and so on now discuss let us discuss the drainage activities see drainage activity is nothing but the preparation of silkworm seeds drainage activity is nothing but the preparation of silkworm seeds this drainage activity starts from the procurement of seed cocoons see drainage activity andre ee drainage activity means silkworm seeds preparation silkworm mottena silkworm mottegalanna tayar maartakkantaha activity na chetuvatikena drainage activity ant kaanthi head so it starts from first point is procurement of seed cocoons seed cocoons na ಹೇಗೆ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇದು ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಯೂರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಕಕೂನ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ರೈನೇಜ್ ಡ್ರೈನೇಜ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ದಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ವೋಲ್ ಟೈನ್ ಕಕೂನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ವೋಲ್ ಟೈನ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ವೋಲ್ ಟೈನ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ತುಮಕೂರು ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ so a drainage officer a drainage authority will purchase the multi voltage required quantity of multi voltage cocoons in the multi voltage seed cocoon market this is the first one next they have to visit bi voltage cocoon market cocoon market located situated in carpeta tal half quantity of bi voltage cocoon should also be purchased from the bi voltage cocoon markets for the preparation of hybrid seeds ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇಂಟು ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರು ಇಂಟು ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಕಕೂರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ವೋಲ್ಟೈನ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೆ ಟೆನ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಬೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೈನ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕೆ ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಬೈ ವೋಲ್ಟೈನ್ ಕಕೂನ್ ಸೀಡ್ ಕಕೂನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಾಸ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಿ ಎಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಮೇಲ್ this is the point also males can be used twice males can be used twice for mating purpose hagagi pure mice rat kg thondre by voltage no half quantity kodtare so hagagi females na onde sala use madlikagodu males na yer sala use madlikagodu hagagi 10 kg example helodadre 10 kg multi voltage pure mice thondre 5 kg by voltage na csr to thobe then the these seed cocoons are packed loosely in a perforated boxes or bamboo baskets in small quantities because each and every cocoon contains a live pupa so respiration ge matondu ge tondre hagadage pack madbeku then are transported during cooler hours of the day after reaching the cocoon to drainage the seed cocoons 
arriving at the drainages are subjected to rigid selection. Of course, at rarer level, there will be a selection criteria, but after purchase, after procurement of seed cocoons, the drainage authorities have to subject them for preliminary examinations or selection and plotting of cocoons. So, in selection, only sound and uniform cocoons conforming to the characteristics of the race are selected and defective cocoons etc. are rejected. Next activity is advanced detection of febrin disease if any before the commencement of operation of each lot helps in arriving great loss to the drainage. This facilitates facilitated by the investigation at three stages. So, as you all know, febrin transmits from generation to generation. This is number one. Number two, before marketing, before marketing, the rare farmer should produce a certificate stating that this lot or his lot is free from febrin. Adru saha drainage to minimize, to prevent the unavoidable losses, the cocoon lot should be subjected to febrin test. So, febrin test can be conducted at three levels. One is pupil test. It's very easy. Immediately after arriving, the pupa is cut ventrally just below the wing bud as shown in the figure by a scissor by holding the pupa between thumb and forefinger in the left hand. After cutting the pupa is pressed gently. The degenerated midgut oozes out as a brown body from the cut portion. This mud midgut is collected and crushed with few drops of potassium hydroxide solution in a moth crushing set. Then the fluid is taken on a slide and examined under the microscope with 600x magnification. If you observe oval shiny spores, oval shaped shiny spores, febrile spores, then the cricurla should be rejected and sent for reeling purpose so that in this way we can avoid, we can prevent the loss to the drainages. So this is most ideal when compared to the force of the eclosion test and first day math emergence. To conduct force of the eclosion test you need an incubator, specifically BOD incubator, it's a costly affair and you have very less time. First day math emergence is also, first day math emerged examination is also ideal but again you have very less time. By next day morning that should be subjected for reeling purpose. That's why pupa test is ideal to conduct the febrin examination at drainages. Next, preservation of seed cocoons. See after febrin test, the febrin free lot should be preserved in a single layer in well ventilated rooms under natural light and dark conditions. Exhaust fans in the cocoon preservation and emergence rooms are very very essential to expel foul gases and dust. Different component races are to be preserved in separate rooms. For the preparation of industrial hybrid seeds, as I told you in the previous slides, hybrid is nothing but the component composition of two strains. In Grenages, pure Mysore female is crossed with CSR2 male. This is the popular silkworm hybrid of Karnataka state. So, this is also called as a popular commercial hybrid. So, for the preparation of hybrid seeds, the sexes must be separated before selfing occurs in the same parental race, same parental strain. For example, pure Mysore lot is a I guess yes or two lot is a. So, you will know sex na separate model la andre, sex maadre vodre, adu self aago gote andre, pure Mysore male and female pair aago gote, CSR2 male and female pair aago gote. To prevent the selfing, to prevent the selfing, 
before emergence before math emergence the sexes should be separate of course the sexing may be carried out in the larval stage larval stage should be at farmer's level so in grenages we can conduct the sexing at the pupal or math stages so in case of pupal stage based on the morphological character based on the morphological features you can separate the male and female very easily see i am presenting here both picture as well as photograph of the male and female pupa see in case of of course these are highlighted by red mark in case of of course when you observe male and female of the same race males are thin males are thin with pointed abdomen here you can observe the picture females are normally fatty females are heavy and broad abdomen see this is because the female moth has to carry 500 600 eggs so 500 600 mottana than body nal ittkondrodrinda female heavy aag kaanisutte male alli aa situation illade irodrinda it is slender it is thin and narrow in addition to idru jothege at the posterior region we can observe a dot mark in case of male and x mark in case of female so age picture nalu saha adanna torisidvi in case of female and male moths males are very active males are very active females are less active see this is this, this is a very uh, essential and you know this knowledge is you know males are very active females are less active females are heavy males are less small thin in addition to that if you hold a female moth or male moth in your hand with the four finger and thumb finger gently press the abdomen if a knob like projection see here knob like if a knob like projection projects out when you press it it is definitely female other than knob like structure hooks may protrude in case of males see this knob like projection is nothing but the egg laying organ ovipositor knob like structure irutte illi hook like structure irutte these are hops which helps in the during copulation process so mating aagbekare hold maadlikke female body na hold maadlikke idu use aagutte after sex separation synchronization of moth emergence is very essential see moths of different components moths of different components are made to emerge on the same day so that male and female moths are readily available for hybridization this is referred to as synchronization synchronization is nothing but the component different component component races are made available on the same day aste male matte female ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ರೇಸ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೊಂಡಿದೀವಿ ಅವೆರಡು ಒಂದೇ ದಿವಸ ಸಿಕ್ಕಬೇಕು ಅವೈಲಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆ ರೀತಿ ಎಮರ್ಜ್ ಆಗೋ ಹಾಗೆ ಮಾಡೋದೆ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಅಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಷಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಷಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಿಲ್ಕೋರ್ ಮೇರಿ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಿಂಕ್ರೋನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ನ ಗ್ರೇನೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ you can make you have to match by refrigerating the early batches in a cold storage or refrigerator at 5 to 10 degree centigrade but such refrigeration should be limited to 3 days in case of female and 7 days for males idikinna hechge maadbaru idikinna hechge maata maadidre adrde adantaha negative effects jaasti aagu idu kakur stage nal maadu ide rithi moth stage nalu maadabodu after emergence we can preserve male moth up to 7 days normally uh, uh, 7 days maartive but 10 days tarake you can extend and 2 to 3 days in case of female anthe but normally you avoid the refrigeration of female moths so after emergence as soon as the moths emerge they start get pair male and female pair agutte the female moths are spread in a tray but 
ಇನ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇನೇಜ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಟ್ರೇ ತಗೊಂಡು ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ನ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಹೈಬ್ರಿಡ್ ಕಾಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಈವನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದಿ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೆನ್ಪಿಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ತಿಂಬಟ್ಟಿ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಸೊ ಓವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟೂ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಟೂ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಈ ಒನ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಿಕ್ಚರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ತೋರಿಸಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಈ ಪೇರ್ ಆಗಿರೋದನ್ನ ಸೆಲ್ಯೂಲ್ ಕವರ್ ಮಾಡಿಡಬೇಕು ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಮ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ನ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೀರಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ತೆಗೆದು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಪಲಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಪ್ಟಿಮಮ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪೇರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಲೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೇಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಸೆಪರೇಷನ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಟು ದಿ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ರಫ್ ಆಗಿ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಪರೇಷನ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ನ ಇಟ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಮೇಲ್ ನ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಲೈಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಮೇಟಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡಿ ಕಪ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಓವಿ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಓವಿ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಗ್ ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಸೊ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಎಗ್ ಲೇ ಮಾಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಮೊಟ್ಟೆ ಇಡುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಓವಿ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಡ್ ಆನ್ ಫಾರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಸೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಲ್ಕ್ ವರ್ಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿಪರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಲೇ ಮಾಡ್ತು ದಿ ಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಫಿಮೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸೆಲ್ಯೂಲ್ the cellule isolate the eggs laid by each mark facilitate individual mother moth examination and elimination of eggs laid by diseased moth becomes easy because illi picture nal kanthira age each circle illi hechu kadame ondu 400 450 motta irutti idishtu saha laid by a single female moth so when you conduct individual mother moth examination if you find that mother moth is infected by pebrin then easily we can discard we can remove such lays or such eggs in case of preparation of loose eggs unit number of female moths are allowed to lay eggs on starch coated paper or cloth so illi cellulose na use madodilla just starch coat madirthakanta paper mele bidodu with a wooden frame or plastic frame or in a tray the number of moths vary from 30 to 200 according to the health of the batch and convenience so health chenagide anta andre up to 200 ittu illa health sari illa solpa infection ittu andre small quantity nal madbekagutte again uh, the each batch should be subjected for pebrin test if you find any pebrin spore so aa lot galna discard maartta barbekagutte hagagi the number of moths vary from 30 to 200 according to the health of the batch and convenience of course convenience anand kine hechage health of the batch moths are allowed to lay eggs for 24 hours in a dark room with 25 degree centigrade and 75 to 80%
during the preparation of commercial seeds. After mother moth examination, the egg sheets or loose eggs in a container are dipped into first and formal in solution. Because if you conduct the pebrin test, you can give a certificate that this pebrin, this uh, batch, this egg is free from pebrin, right? But surface contamination can also be tested or nullified. So, surface disinfection should be conducted in 2% formalin or 500 ppm chlorine dioxide. But formalin is ideal because this helps in eliminating the surface contamination, number one, because formalin is a very good disinfectant, also fix it. Number two, formalin increases the adhesive capacity of the eggs to the egg sheets. So, motte paper mill antimodal tala a capacity in a hitch model. Hagagi, formalin is ideal for surface disinfection of eggs. Subsequently, the sheets are washed and dried under shade and preserved under optimum temperature of 25 degrees centigrade and relative humidity of 80 percent. Artificial hatching Multivoltine never undergoes diapause, but uni and bivoltine undergo diapause or hibernation. Diapause. There is a pause during embryonic development. So, bivoltine at the univoltine diapause hotel. So, to prevent, to check the development of diapause, artificial hatching is done by either cold treatment or hydrochlorination. Cold treatment is nothing but a refrigeration. Cold treatment is nothing but a refrigeration depending upon the schedule. That is nothing but the hibernation schedule that will be discussed in a, another topic. Hydrochlorination is nothing but the hydrochloric acid treatment. This hydrochloric acid treatment is of two types. One is cold acid treatment. Cold acid treatment is nothing but the acid treatment at room temperature. Not cold, not at cold. Means 5 degree or uh, 6 degree. The cold acid treatment is nothing but the acid treatment at room temperature. So, hydrochloric acid with a specific gravity of 1.1 1 .1 at 24 degrees centigrade and acid treatment duration is 60 to 90 minutes. So, it is a little bit lengthy process. But in case of hot acid treatment, hydrochloric acid with a specific gravity of 1.075 at 46.1 degree centigrade the duration of dipping is 5 to 6 minutes. Then, X should be washed in running water to remove the acid trace and dry under shade. Now, the X are ready for incubation. Of course, after incubation, it comes under engage silkworm rearing. So, it will be discussed in the next video. Okay, thank you.